Hi everybody, it's Martin the Flicking Feathers again today and I'm continuing with the Beginners Fly Tying series uh, and I'm doing a very very simple Perdigon nymph you can make them more complicated but I thought for the Beginners series I would just tie a sort of very basic version it's a very effective fly for trout and grayling uh, originated in Spain I believe um, although I've heard about I've heard that people also saying it come, came from France and then went to Spain. Great, you can fish it French style, Czech nymph style. Um, very fast sinking and very, very effective. So in the vise, I've got a size 16 Napec jig hook, but you could also tie them in 14s. Uh, I would say that going bigger than this isn't very worthwhile. Unless you're using it purely as a sacrificial fly to take the, the team down a bit deeper. Um, but they don't really seem to be as effective in larger sizes. And I've got to stick th like 3 tons of 0.015 lead wire. I'm just going to use it to hold the bead firmly in place there. Just push it right up against it and it will sort of go into the slot. This is a 2.5mm bead but you could upsize it to a 2.8 or a 3 if you wish. It's up to you. <coughs> so I'm going to uh, start my thread. This is just Olive Vivas and 10 Ot. Then just to sort of lock that lead in the bead in place, got a wee bit of super glue in there. And I'll wrap back over it. And then I'll take my thread down to just before the bend. And I'm going to get some cock de leon. If you don't have cock de leon, you could use ordinary hackle fibres. But um, I just pick up I just pick up the whiting tailing pack. Uh, it's better value than the loose eight, the eight, like eight feathers or something in the loose packs, and they're pretty expensive. So I'm going to take half a dozen fibers. Right, I wouldn't I wouldn't uh, wouldn't use any more, and. I'm going to measure my tail, basically the length of the the hook behind the bead, which might be a bit longer than some people tie them, but I quite like the slightly longer tail. I think it, if you actually look at the insects that we're imitating, they do tend to have quite long tails. So I've pinched that on, taken two wraps, take one below to sort of help lock it in place, and then one back over. And that firmly seats your tail and also sort of sp spreads it slightly. And I'm just going to trim this to just behind the lead. And then I'm going to build a tapered body. Right, we do that by wrapping over everything, the whole length and back. Then come back down, but not quite as far. And go forward again. Same again. Stop short. And then stop short again. That gives us a nice, smooth, tapered body. Now, to put the hot spot in the thorax, I'm just going to come in some fluorescent orange vivas thread. And tie over the original olive. Just trim that away. Then we can 
carefully just had a had that wee collar. You don't want to make this too big. About a quarter to a third of the, the overall body length. And then quick finish. Make sure that's nice and tightly seated. The thorax cover is dead easy, it's just a bit of black nail polish. Right, any old cheap stuff will do. And just very carefully Dab this on, let it go up onto the bead. See? And then what I like to do is I give it a second just for any varnish to sink into the groot, the slot on the tungsten bead. And then I'll fill that up. Now, I would recommend if you tie these, you're going to tie 10. Probably, I would imagine, or more, at least half a dozen. Tie them all to this stage. Stick them in a bit of foam. And then when you've tied your ten, you can pick up your first one. Where the varnish is set. And then you're ready for your to, to coat the fly and finish it. Now, I'm going to use a UV resin, but you could also use uh, head cement if you wish, if you don't have UV resin. I'm using Loon fly finish. And we just run the resin over it. your dubbing needle and help spread it around the the fly and try to get a nice even coating And then if you just, if you do have a rotary vise, just to help even it out, it can help if you sort of just rotate your vise, just turn it, and it will start to smooth, smooth out and even up. And then when you're happy, come in and hit it with a, UV light. Oh, it. Give it a couple of seconds and make sure it's thoroughly cured. And that's it. That is the Perdigon Nymph. It's a very simple version of it. It's m the more of a style than a specific pattern. Um, and you can make them more complicated if you wish, but this will catch this will catch you plenty of fish as it is. So, I hope that was useful, I hope you enjoyed it, thanks very much for watching, uh, don't forget to like the video, give me a thumbs up below, and subscribe for more HD fly tying videos, thanks a lot guys, bye.